All right, well, one thing that doesn't get shown a lot is how to configure email on the Supernote. Uh, there have been a lot of videos, a lot of people, uh, rightly so, choose to stay in their digital environment. They choose to stay in Google or Outlook, and they don't really need, between their phones and their computers, another way to check those accounts. However, if you are going into a meeting and you want to have the flexibility to be able to look at your calendar or your email really quickly, just see a few of them, not go through your entire structure, but like the most recent emails, it's really important to be able to do that in a non-intrusive way. That's what the Supernote is very, very good at. So what I'd like to do is take a few minutes, show you really quickly how you would set that up and how it works in my daily workflow. So I have this right now on uh, my A5X for all my work email and personal email. What we're gonna do at the moment is set up the organizing for change mailbox, which doesn't have a whole lot in it, has mostly uh, Quora digests and things that aren't really overly personal, but it'll walk you through and show you what that process looks like. And I'm not aware of too many other videos out there doing that. The easiest way to get to the email once you add that app is to pull down on the sidebar here. And you'll see the mail icon right there. And when you tap on that, it's going to give you your options. Now, there are a lot of different options here, not just Gmail, not just uh, Exchange if it's your work email, but also Home Outlook and Hotmail accounts. And then there are other IMAP accounts that you can do as well. I'm going to use Gmail because that's what we're dealing with right now. And the nice thing about this is you just take your phone and you scan the QR code. It gives me a random code and it tells me I can sign in with Google. And then I choose my account. And then you just are asked to continue. The authorization is complete. You can see right there. And this has improved a tremendous amount since they originally uh, rolled out the email function. It used to be a real process of going into Google, uh, telling it to make sure it trusts the account uh, and the Supernode and Rada. That has been completely streamlined. And as you can see, all of my email is starting to populate. The nice thing about this is once you configure it and tell it how many emails you want it to keep on the device, and generally I keep 25 on the device in each folder. So it will, on this left-hand side here, inherit the folder structure. In, in Gmail, they call them labels. Uh, it'll inherit those labels so that you can then expand this other folders and see the different options there. So no matter how many you create, that will show up. And then you'll be able to scroll through that and enter those folders. And what it'll do is keep 25 emails in each of those folders. So you have some good quick access for if you're in a meeting and someone says, oh, I sent you that email 10 minutes ago, right before the meeting started, instead of having to pull out your computer, boot that up, turn that on, sift through it or look at it that way, I can just come right in here. I can double check if I haven't synced it for a while. There's this little manual right here. Then you'll see that's when it connects to the server. And it'll go ahead and pull down all that information. So I can open it up. I can do that. I can search it. I can create a new email if I want. Uh, but when you press on that, it does a pretty good job of telling you, and of course this is telling me that it was synced. Now one thing that it doesn't do that they really need to get, uh, that they really need to get integrated is clickable links. It does not do that right now. I can press on this check activity button as many times as I want and it won't do anything. I also can't copy links from here. So there is some functionality that they need to develop. But what I can do, and of course this isn't an email to, to really reply to, but I'll show you. I can reply to all, or I can reply, or I can forward, and then I can delete right from here. So I can hit reply. 
And then there's the email address. It pops up. I can add an attachment if I want to. I can toggle between the pen and the eraser. I can add a template. And sometimes what I like to do is add the template just to keep my writing nice and neat. And I'll say like, in reply to your email, here is a response. Now, of course, that's not beautiful handwriting, but it gets the point across. Now, when I actually go to send it, I can remove that template and it'll look a little bit cleaner on the other side. Now, sometimes there, there are some scaling issues, so I don't tend to reply with this as much. Uh, if I do do something, I add in a signature and then I'll just forward and add an attachment. So if I'm attaching something from this device, this is an extremely useful thing to use. For the eraser, you can go ahead and do the full erase, or you can do the region eraser, or you can do the more fine line eraser. So here we can go ahead. We've selected our pen. I can do some more text. I can go here. It'll take it out. I can redo and undo with these buttons up here. And again, you can add multiple pages to this. So it's a really functional tool. I don't think it gets the, I don't think it gets the accolades it deserves, uh, just to put it mildly, but it's that simple. And then when you go back into your folder, of course, I don't want to save this, so I say don't save. Uh, and now I'm back, and I go back one more step, and now I'm back to the main page again. And it is, uh, you can go into settings. And here's where you can put in a signature. I tend to go ahead and still do the keyboard on this one, uh, just because... I want to have it look a little more professional. If I do send something from this, I tried it with the handwritten signature and it just doesn't come through and translate well, but I can type in my signature that's on my work email and then have it here as well and put from the bottom or at the bottom, um, sent via Supernote or something like that. And it lets them know that I'm using a mobile device, but it doesn't look like I'm handwriting until they get that functionality really down the way it should be. Up here at the top, again, you can set the number of emails you want to keep. It, the default is 20. I usually do 25. I, th I find that is a good, uh, a good number. And then you can not have a custom signature at all if you'd rather. So you can do that either way. And then if you have some server configurations to do, you can do those from here too. Uh, but I don't tend to do that. And then the nice thing about the mailbox feature is you can add up to three accounts. So if I wanted to, and this is what I've done on my A5X, I can add multiple accounts to this and then just toggle between the two and hit refresh. And I can see my personal and my professional calendars all in one place.